In the European Space Agency's mission control, there were tears of joy and triumph today after the filet probe successfully harpooned itself to a comet in deep space. It's an unprecedented feat of science, a chance to unlock the primordial past of our solar system for as long as the probe can to cling to what is essentially a melting mountain of ice. The CBC's Ron Charles has more. The European Space Agency's plan was audacious from the start. Launch a spacecraft on a decade-long six and a half billion kilometer journey to chase down, rendezvous with, and then orbit a comet somewhere on the other side of Mars. Then have the spacecraft drop a washing machine-sized lander that will have to harpoon itself to the comet's surface to hold on. All with no help from mission control half a billion kilometers away on Earth from where communications take a gut-wrenching half an hour to reach the spacecraft. What could possibly go wrong? Gravity is very small, so if you arrive with a little bit too much speed and you don't hop on yourself, you're just going to bounce off and be lost in space. The ESA's Rosetta spacecraft sent back these selfies with Comet 67P, Cherry Umov, Jerry Semenko, after catching up with it in August. This morning, Rosetta sent back photos of its lander named Philae slowly falling to the comet's surface. Seven hours later at Mission Control in Germany, this. So we are sitting on the surface. Fila is talking to us. More data to come and, and to be analyzed right now. There was at least one Canadian in a chair at Mission Control. Operations engineer Jacob Urbanik is from Toronto. I mean, it's epic. It's uh, nobody's ever done this. Nobody's ever flown with a comet before. Nobody's come this close before. And then to land on it, it's just... It's, it's amazing. The Philae lander will now start analyzing the comet to determine what it's made of. This new frontier on an ancient icy space rock is exciting to this group watching at McGill University. This is going to inform us about our own solar system, how our solar system started, what the materials were, because this comet has been carrying those materials for over four and a half billion years. Philae is expected to hang on to the comet for at least a year and a half. As it gets closer to the sun, the melting surface might loosen the harpoons and send the lander hurtling into space. Ron Charles, CBC News, Toronto.